banger alert, banger alert, guys. At this August 3rd UFC Abu Dhabi Fight Night card, we just got Davison Figueredo versus Marlon Vera announced. What a fight. That's going to be a certified classic. <laughs> But it's also going to be a one-sided beatdown. So Marlon Vera is coming off of a brutal five-round loss to Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley landed 230 significant strikes on Marlon Vera. And he hit him with the nastiest knee of all time. Now let's look at Davison Figueredo. He's on a two-fight win streak over Rob Font and Cody Garbrandt. And he's looking really good at bantamweight. And look, I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting Davis and Figueredo to do well at bantamweight at all. I made a video saying Rob Font would beat him, and I was completely wrong. And since then, I'm on the Davis and Figueredo hype train. I believe he can do super well at bantamweight. And this matchup against Marlon Vera is the perfect fight to make. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I actually think Davis and Figueredo is better everywhere than Marlon Vera. I think his striking and his grappling is better than Cheeto. And Marlon Vera doesn't throw a lot of shots. Now, they do have a lot of power, but Davis and Figueredo, he isn't a easy person to put away. So even if Davison gets rocked by Cheeto, Davison can easily use his superior grappling to recover. The only advantages that Marlon Vera has over Davison Figueredo is power, size, and durability. And honestly, the biggest factor in this fight that totally goes against Marlon Vera is the fact that this fight is a three-rounder. And that's really not good because Marlon Vera is a slow starter and he doesn't really throw a lot of shots at all during a fight. I actually think this fight's gonna be similar to Jose Aldo and Marlon Vera's fight. And also, listen, I think Cheeto's confidence is shot after his dominant loss to Sean O'Malley. Look, in the world of MMA, momentum is super real. And Figueredo, you know, he's got upward momentum. He's on a two-fight win streak. He's hunting for that title. While Marlon Vera, he just had a failed title shot. And he didn't really have anything for Sean O'Malley in their fight. But honestly, yeah, I think Davis and Figueredo is going to come out with a pretty grappling heavy style because that gives Cheeto Vera no chance at winning this fight because Cheeto can put you away at any moment in the fight. But that's because of his physical attributes. His best qualities as a fighter are his physical abilities and his technical abilities. They're good, but they're not as good as Figueredo. So my official prediction for this fight is Figueredo is going to have a pretty grappling heavy style. He's going to take down Marlon Vera, grind him out, and it's going to be a very dominant 30-27 unanimous decision win for Figueredo. And honestly, after this fight, if Sean O'Malley is able to beat Marab, I wouldn't mind if Davis and Figueredo got a title shot after beating Marlon Vera. I don't think that'd be a bad decision at all. And it would be a great fight. O'Malley versus Figueredo would literally be a firefight. That would be such a good fight. But there's my official prediction. I've turned into a Davis and Figueredo glazer now. I used to be a hater, but now I'm on the Davis and Figueredo train all day. But hey, look, this is just my opinion. What's more important is what's your opinion? What do you guys think about this fight? Do you guys think Davis and Figueredo is going to win or Marlon Vera is going to win? And what do you think the winner of this fight does? Do they get a title shot if it's Davis and Figueredo? What does Marlon Vera do if you think he's going to win? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to the LSFC YouTube channel. And if you really enjoyed this video and you really want to help us out, please consider becoming a LSFC channel member. Become an LSFC core member today and you can gain access to exclusive channel perks and our LSFC grappling resources, which are great for beginners and intermediates if you do wrestling or BJJ, anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye and have a great rest of your day.